Hey guys, this is Ralph Gauter back with another redstone tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a block swapper that goes on the ceiling so it can change out blocks that would be above you. And this is how it works. Yeah, it's good for uh, ceiling lighting. I really like it. I think it's great. If you you have to use a button though. Let me pull out a lever real quick. Because if you use a lever, I don't think it'll work right. I'm pretty sure. It'll only go halfway. That's why you need a button to make it work right. Okay. Let me just get this. Okay. This is what it looks like up here. You've got your sticky piston that's going to the block on the ceiling. And then when you power it, well, you actually invert the signal when you power it, making this uh, redstone torch turn off, which makes this go retract, This, which makes this piston retract, bringing that block up and these blocks extend when this torch is powered by the inverted signal. And that's basically it. I'm gonna show you how to make one now. It's pretty simple. Uh, all of this other redstone around here doesn't really matter. I'm not very good with wiring. I'm sure you can do better. This is what it looks like. It's a 2x5 design. I really like it. It's simple and compact. I, this is the best one I found. Okay, I'm just going to build off the ground a little bit so I can show you how it's done. To have a little base. So, 2x5. There we go. I'm going to break this block. Oh. Build up. Put down the sticky. P nope, that's not even sticky. Sticky piston right there. Replace this block. Break the block behind that. Leave that one down there. Build one to the left, and then build one to the right. Build another one to the right. Build up on that one. Delete the one below that. Build one to the left again. Build up on that one. Delete the bottom one. All right, so you should have a shape like that on each side. And then you need to go ahead and power this sticky piston with the redstone torch. And then put the repeaters on each side so that it can power that block and that block. Next, you might as well just get this out of the way. It uh, doesn't matter what side you put your glowstone on. It'll work no matter what. I'm just going to go there. You can follow along in the video if it makes you feel better. So, And then you want to face your normal pistons facing in towards the sticky piston, like that. And they're already extended. And then you want to put redstone underneath the blocks that are above the other blocks, like that. And you also need redstone torches on each of these. And once you invert that signal right there, that'll turn those torches on, and retract this, and then it should go, I think. Yep, it works. I'm going to go back over here and show you this also. Another thing about this design is... Uh, if you have multiple ones set up, you want them to both be going. You want them to have the same blocks at the same time. Like, uh, you if you're gonna have, uh, you want like if you t if you make one and you test it and it works and the glowstone is still underneath this sticky piston and you make a new one and the glowstone's right here, it's not going to work. Here, I'll show you real quick. Um, oh great. Okay, <laughs> let me build this real quick. Okay, and okay. Say the glowstone is already down here, then that means it's going to look like this. And once you test this, it's going to be off sync. So every every one you make, you need to make sure that you uh you have them all synced up so something like this doesn't really happen if you're having multiple of them. Thank you for watching. This has been Ralph Captor. Please comment and rate for more Minecraft tutorials.